Hey everyone, it's Tucker here, and if you don't know, I am a massive fan of Power Rangers, and they just released the trailer to the new 30th anniversary special on Netflix, and well, I've watched already, and I have some opinions about it, so I want to watch the trailer with you guys to show you my problems with it, and um, see what could come from it, so let us begin. All right, first problem, Rita's suit looks awful. The, suits, the suit part is fine. It's the face that gets me. <sighs> Calling her Mecha Rita, sure, I guess. But if that's the case, then shouldn't have just been the Machine Empire doing this. Because I... I'm not buying it that she looks threatening. And it just looks weird. It looks weird to me that a robot Rita would still have all this magic stuff. Especially putties. I don't think she would have any putties at that point. All right. So they killed off Trini. To give some context, people that may not know, the actress who played Trini passed away in 2001. So that's the reason they had to take her out of the special. But that, that seems to be in poor taste to me. Like, her just getting killed by a robotic Rita, I I just can't buy it. Because usually in Power Rangers, when a ranger gets shot by something like that, they just unmorph. The way I could see it, possibly, is that they could possibly have uh, said, like, a disease got her or something, some other natural cause. Uh, that could work. I was, it'd be deep and a bit dark, but Power Rangers has done that. But uh, something about this puts me off a bit. I I just I just can't jive with it too much. This is Ranger business, okay? Let us sort this out. Readers the command center looks weird. I don't know if it's because it's all black. It just doesn't look right to me. Something about the shape of it. It looks different than what it originally was. But I know why they had to change it. The command center got destroyed in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But it looks odd. Maybe... It's seen the whole landscape because usually we've only just seen it on the mountain. So it, it could grow on me. I'll believe that. So th that is unique. Uh, time travel to stop rangers. That could work. Uh, the problem is Rita makes it sound like that if she stops Zoran from making those kids rangers, I think Zoran would just picked other teenagers to be rangers. I don't think he would have just suddenly gave up if they weren't there. They just happened to be in the right place. That's all I'll say. I'm assuming Zoran would have picked other rangers if they weren't available. Uh, and in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Pink Ranger went back to the Old West. And there are Wild West Rangers. So, truly, it didn't matter if they stopped these Rangers. There are other Rangers out there. And if that was the case, I'm assuming Zoran would have called over the Alien Rangers. Because that would help and stop Rita. But, I don't know. It's odd. It's unique. 
But there's some flaws with it. But if they don't address the flaws, it is all right then because that is a unique way to stop the Rangers. So I'm seeing all these, like the Astro Mega Ship, all these other places in um, Power Rangers, and uh, it looks it looks nice that they're remembering all this stuff. The only problem is I don't think they'll show up. I'm seeing the Astro Mega Ship, but I don't think they're gonna bring back the In Space Rangers, and I don't think they'll get the uh, Lost Galaxy Rangers in. Uh, Turtle Cove, that's all right, but it would be nice to see them, but I understand why they won't, and I just noticed this, uh, this is called Bandora Protocol, if you don't know, right, uh, quick Power Rangers history, uh, Power Rangers, it's a dual production, uh, the all-human footage is made with, uh, American actors, well, now New Zealand actors, uh, and the Power Ranger footage, the suit and monster and Megazord footage used to be all made in Japan. There was this show that still exists called Super Sentai. Uh, I've watched bits of it. It's pretty all right. Uh, that's a way to explain why in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Rita's voice never matched her mouth because they just didn't really dub over the actress too well. But in the series that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers came from, Rita is called Bandora. So that's pretty interesting that they call it the Bandora Protocol instead of just saying like the Mecha Rita Protocol or something. But I'm assuming there's a reason for it, but that's a nice nod seeing their connection back to what Power Rangers is. All right, I do like that they're bringing back Rangers. I know why Tommy's not there. Tommy didn't want to be in it. I mean, Jason David Frank didn't want to be in the special because he didn't like how um, most Power Ranger company, it was Saban, wasn't really treating him the best. I don't think Hasbro was either. And sadly, Tommy did. I mean, Jason David Frank did pass away in 2022. Um, and if you saw in the beginning, the Green Ranger suit's in it, which it shouldn't. Well, it gets iffy with the Master Morpher, but uh, it's a stunt double. Jason Diffrank didn't want to be in it. But what I'm seeing here is, I think the Pink Ranger's Cat, maybe, and the Red Ranger's Rocky. So it's... Two Rangers that are not part of the original team, but Zack is still there. Which is odd, because I thought they'd get Adam in, but so be it. Uh, it's nice to see these characters back. It's nice to see Zack back. And Billy, it's nice to see both of them back. I wish Jason and Kimberly could have been there, but I get it why it's Cat and Rocky. All right, so these monster suits, they look amazing. And they're recreation suits from Mighty Morphin. And those look good, and the robot aesthetic works well with them. I'm assuming it's probably, like, to me, I feel since their mouths don't move in general, it works a lot better with these suits. Rita, they needed some mouth movement. I just don't buy it but i do like seeing these suits they look pretty good and i'm thinking some pretty good fight scenes to come with it all right here we go here's the scene yep tommy's there and the yellow ranger is trini that's the yellow ranger trini's daughter that's what we saw. We saw casting. Uh, who plays her? I forgot, sadly. But Tommy, the Green Ranger, is just a suit. I mean, is a stunt double. 
I don't know if he'll have speaking lines. I wonder how they're going to treat his legacy because he did pass away before this came out. And he didn't want to be filmed with it because he just didn't. He didn't believe that this was what he could call something good. Like, he's been treated badly by law production companies. He's been treated badly uh, by Power Ranger writers. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff I won't go into. But uh, that's a lot of things there. Which, I wonder how they'll treat him here. But let's uh, continue. Alright. So if we go back... Yeah. So, I'm seeing that, and that's Adam and Yasha. I forgot her name. But Adam, and that's the secondary Yellow Ranger. There's a point in Mighty Morphin where all Rangers except the Blue Ranger got replaced. Uh, and I'm seeing the secondary Black Ranger and the secondary Yellow Ranger. And that's... That's pretty good. I'm like I'm glad they bring up they acknowledge their existence. I like seeing that. And oh wait, hold on. Look. All right, it's Campbell. All right, but I like seeing them there, and they're it's it's pretty fun. I like seeing that. Uh, we'll go on. I will say the fight choreography does look well. I like seeing all the unmorphed suits and it the scope of this special feels grander than a normal Power Ranger thing. And it's nice to see Mighty Morphin go through this stuff. Cause I've been noticing a lot of other Power Ranger season been doing it. That's because they're using other footage. They never really used that in the Sentai this came from. But I like seeing this. And uh I get, I get pretty stoked, but we'll go on. Oh, the Zord footage. Wow, it looks terrible. Here, we'll, we'll go back a bit. There's the... Here we go, yeah. They look bad. Say, like, say what you want about it just being suits and puppets. This CGI is terrible. They look too metallic. They look a lot like toys. And I shouldn't get the feeling that they're actually toys. They should feel like robots. And like, I would be fine if it was just this scene was animated. But then this. The Megazord is CGI. Wow. It looks Bad. Like. The level of Power Rangers bad. Because I don't see why they couldn't just get the Megazord suit. No. I'm not saying I get the original Megazord suit. But I know in Japan they did something with the Megazord for the Mighty Morph Sentai counterpart. So they could use that. But my next question is, why do they have the Mighty Morphin powers? Um, it should be the Ninja Zord. Because the Dino Zords, this, the, the Dino Zords got turned into the Thunder Zords. The Thunder Zords got destroyed. So I don't see why it's not the Ninja Megazords. Because that's just fine. But uh, besides that, this just looks... Bad. Ugh. And, hold on. Oh. Seeing it move. Ugh. It, it feels janky a bit. They should have just got a suit. Made a suit quickly. I mean, not quickly. They should have either got the suit from Japan or made a completely new suit. But it just. It looks bad. 
I'm not jiving with it too much. Mm, it looks awful. Here we go. Only on Netflix, April 19th. Well, uh, final thoughts. It looks all right. Uh, the chore fight choreography looks good. I like that. The monster suits besides Macarita are looking pretty good. I'm liking their designs. The putties, they look good. The ranger suits, they're doing well. I like that. Um... Mecha Rita's design still looks bad. The Zords are pretty bad. Their CG is looking awful. I hope they don't fight any of the monsters with the CG because I can tell that nothing's there and it's not going to look good. Uh, the way they killed off Trini is a bit distasteful to me. I don't like how they killed her off like that. Uh, and then... Uh, Seeing Tommy there, even though Jason David Frank didn't want to be a part of it, uh, that's a bit awful as well. So, all in all, uh, I may wait for to see people talk about it before I watch it, because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to watch it and give Netflix a view if it's something that doesn't feel truly like it's worthy of the 30th anniversary. Because even though we have this special, we're also getting Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. So that that's looking pretty good. But hey, um, what did you guys think of this trailer? Did you guys like it or hate it? I'm going to put the link to the trailer down below so you could see it for yourself, get your own opinion without me pausing and stuff. And yeah, uh, I hope you like it. Like the video if you do. Show me if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, Tucker, out.